So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock, specifically the 2022 set, which is the Cunning of the Contender armor set. This armor set is super fucking dope. If you guys haven't seen the Titan or the Hunter sets, I'll have them both right here. You guys can check it out. We go over all of the pieces that we usually would go th through aside from the Hunters. I think I skipped over the arms and the Titans. I skipped over the mark as well. So we look at all of the armor pieces, make armor sets and explain my thoughts on them. Same thing with this armor. We're going to be looking at all of it except the bond. I think the bond is weak, which is not weird considering that's what I usually think. But we're going to be looking at some really, really cool pieces. Very excited for these because I'm going to be with you guys. Some of these are fucking cool. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the cunning of the contender hood. This is the helmet and fucking a is this one of the coolest helmets in the game right now? So cunning of the contender hood is what we're using. Obviously, arc light gloves with the painted Kitsune robes is a combination that I've done in multiple videos with the mind striders as well. And then Street Scholar Bond. This is essentially my like PVP build that I use with the transversive steps. Uh, I've made multiple videos with transversive steps. And I think this one and my Vex look are probably my favorite set. And the fact that I'm combining it with the content cunning of the contender helmet, I just think looks really, really cool. If I were to like critique it a bit, I would probably say I have to get a better shader just because the cunning of the contender specifically the glow does not show that well with this glow so i probably would just have to switch out the glow the problem though is the fact that i would have to go it for a blue almost like a blue purple glow just because the arc light gloves does have electrical currents that do not change colors so if i want to retain that blue blue purple color more blue than anything else i don't know why i'm saying purple but uh, if I want to retain that blue electrical current, then I'm going to have to find a shader that has a blue glow, which is quite annoying. But this is just really to showcase what I can do with it. This helmet I'm going to use in a lot of sets. So don't think this is the only set that I'm going to make. I already have multiple sets that I've thought about using with the helmet because the helmet is so fucking cool. As for the next set, Falling Sunstar is what we're going to be using for the exotic. And for this one, we're going to be using Cunning of the Contender Gloves. This one, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of these arms. Uh, the only reason I used them is because I wanted to have four pieces for you guys, four sets, I, sh I should say. And I knew I was not going to use the bond. Not the biggest fan of the bond. That being said, I still think this looks cool. Uh, the arc light robes with the virtuous boots and Lux bond with the reefer Galia shader, which is interesting because it does have a blue glow, uh, was a good choice. I think this was a really good choice. I've made this set with actually almost all of this aside from the arms and the boots being different i think the bond as well for i think the was it the fallen sun no i don't think it was the fallen sun star i think i've made this before let me know if you guys remember it but uh just a few things to note make sure that you guys are using fallen fallen sun star correctly because the fallen sun star actually takes the off color so you get you guys can see that reefer Galia has a gold in that shader that's actually an off color so just be aware that you're going to want to work around that unless you don't care, which is what I did. I didn't really care, uh, mostly because, again, this was just something quick that I came up with that I was like, and I knew that the Fallen Sun Star, Sun Star was going to be really good with arc light robes because both of them have electrical currents going through them. And the cunning of the contender gloves, I think, looks really cool with all this set. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the chest, I did end up using this for the Resolute Champion set for the Warlocks. I'll have it up right now. That's where we usually, that's where we did basically the same thing as this one, but use the Resolute Champion set, which is the 2023 set. So I'm not going to talk too much about this, but needless to say, we're using the Gaze Beyond Worlds ornament for the Eye of the Another World. I think this ornament's super fucking cool. And because the, like, the O orange thing in the middle has like this, like, orange glow, I decided to go with Orable's Ur Glance just because I wanted to tie that color in a little bit more. Uh, chest piece, obviously, con cunning of the contender is what we're using. Arc Lake boots is what I'm using for this one because of the geometry of the boot itself. It goes really well with the chest piece. And then Don Singer Bond because uh, the whole glow is orange. I wanted to keep that theme as well. So this one is super cool. I really, really like this set. Funnily enough, as well, I people are uh, someone asked for I have another other world to be showcased. So that exotic will be showcased as well, plus the ornament. But yeah, I really, really like this set. And then last but not least, we are going to be using the Cunning of the Contender Boots. This one, I'm going to be real with you guys. I could have used a better set for this one. But at the same time, I like like where my head is going for this one. 
So helmet, we're using hardened hardened basilisk because I want some armor in there because the boots have no armor at, like at all. Mostly mostly leather and cloth in there. For the arms, Okaiser Draconum ornament for the sun bracers is what we're using just because uh not only do i did i want to use something else but i actually like how it looks granted you can still see some of that blue steel but it's not as offensive as other arm or I, it's not as offensive as other shaders uh speaking of shaders we're using continuum alloy just because it does a really good job at covering the blue steel at least better than most shaders but I also love the fact that the like red glow is so cool with the chest piece for Resolute Champion robes. For the boots, we're using uh, Cunning of the Contender. Obviously, that's what we're showcasing this video. And then for the Bond Eagles Bond, just because I wanted a little bit more glow. So this is a cool example of a really cool set using a bad piece. And the bad piece would be Cunning of the Contender, funnily enough. I would most likely switch this out with something that has a little bit more armor, but not so much that it kind of like looks weird. So like probably a piece that has armor on the boots and maybe below the knee, everything else would be cloth just because I really want to keep this like light armored look to my warlock. So I would probably just switch out the boots for something else. But I like to showcase my failed, I guess you would say my failed sets just because I'm not perfect. This is like where my head goes. So let me know what you guys think. Warlocks, I really, really liked using a lot of these pieces. I think Warlocks ate really well for the 2022 set just because uh, all of them look fucking cool, bro. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Thank you guys for being so patient for these videos just because I know I've been lagging. Think like. Funnily enough, I have been playing Warframe, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy. I've been playing literally everything but Destiny 2, which is why it's been taking me forever to make videos, even though for you guys, it might not seem so because I post a video. But for me, I've just I've just been burnt out of Destiny 2. So thankfully, we have like one or two weeks left of Destiny 2 and then the new season starts, which is super cool because we'll get back to that whole grind of getting new armor reviewing the armor, making these armor showcases, but I do want to start sprinkling other content as well. Uh, specifically a video that I'm working on currently, which is the uh, comparing all of the transmogs in the games that I play. And then from there, that'll be a great way to get into other games as well, specifically the fashion of those games. So 14, Final Fantasy 14, uh, World, World of Warcraft and Warframe. I want to start doing fashion content that, with other games just because I feel like Destiny 2 is just, not only starting to piss me off because once you start looking at the other games transmog you'll start to really resent how restricted destiny 2's uh fashion is so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later